Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video I'm going to be talking about another update to Jackrabbit. Another tool to add to your tool chest to make informed and wise decisions in your trading. This is a bit of a double-edged sword. Some investors swear by it, others loathe its existence. Today we're going to talk about volume weighted analysis. We are in TradingView looking at Bitcoin using an aggressive saturation technique that's been described in previous videos. What I'm about to do is to demonstrate how this chart will change by adding volume weighted analysis to it. So, as you can see, this chart does very well, it has a lot of good saturation points. But now, we're going to turn volume weighted analysis on. And you will notice a big and drastic change. All of the cell signals that were there previously are gone. Volume weighted analysis adds the volume to the calculations. And it only picks the points that the volume produces good results. Some people refer to this as social trading. Others refer to it as following the market. This is something you can choose. And if you're looking for a very defensive market, this is probably something you're going to want because it really thins out the buy signals drastically on the basis of volume. Okay, here we go. Now let's see if we can get this to work right and add volume to our chart where we can actually see how well this will play out. Now, volume works in both directions, buying and selling. So if we look at this particular signal here, the volume plus the indicators line up for a good sell. Jackrabbit does not use volume by itself, but as a layer to all five indicators that already exist. So this increases Jackrabbit's defensiveness to only picking the best, most likely profitable candidates. Volume weighted analysis does have a counterproductiveness to saturation purchasing. So that is something that you'll want to be aware of when you select it. And it's easy to turn on and turn off to see just how a chart will respond. For coins that are not very good or weak, it can make a difference between a profit or a loss. For strong coins like Bitcoin, it could mean missed opportunities based solely on prevalent volume. So you'll want to pay close attention to your settings before you do anything with your alerts. This may or may not be something valuable to your trading style. 
volume weighted analysis, as I said in the beginning, is a double-edged sword. Some investors love it, others don't. I believe it has a place in your tool chest, and like every single tool, it has the right time to use it. So as you progress with your analysis, always be sure to consider the various assets. You want to make sure that everything fits appropriate to your own risk assessment. If you're looking for a long position, comma, volume weighted analysis can drastically help improve your profits. If you're looking for short, quick trades, it may not be as useful. Always be sure to analyze everything first. So let's see if we can get a coin to load up here and pick another coin that is highly active. Okay, let's go to Bitcoin Cash. This has a strong market usually and does very well. So we'll load it up. And no, that's not quite what we want. As we're waiting for this to load, I cannot emphasize the importance of analyzing and carefully weighing out your risks. Jackrabbit is a very powerful tool that can help you make considerable profits, but you must take the time necessary to really examine each of the settings appropriate to your own risk assessment. Okay, here we have Bitcoin Cash. We have a couple of good signals here with some very reasonable profits. This one is really nice. This looks to be almost a 3%, wait a minute, 0.6, about a 1.5% profit here. This one here, the year, looks like it could easily generate a good 1% profit. But this is in regular saturation mode with volume weighted analysis turned off. Now, let's turn it on and really see where the diamonds are. And I have had some charts where all of the buy signals completely disappear. And this analysis doesn't regard anything on a chart as good. Like this. All of those signals, not good based upon volume. And we can see down here in a volume chart, they're really not good. There's not a lot of volume in there. You see a lot of volume for selling, but not a lot of volume for buying. So if you're looking for high level coins with volume, this can be a huge asset to your arsenal of tools. Until next time.